Do you see that? I burnt my lip on a Cinnabon because I was too impatient to let it cool down. Big boy problems here. Hey cheap bitches, I'm Rob and this is On The Cheap Tip. Now this next tip I've been dying to come out with since like last year, even though last year wasn't that long ago, but you know what I mean. And it's a DIY vitamin C youth serum. Ah yes bitches, get ready to be snatched, snatched. Now the reason it took me so long is because I just couldn't find the main ingredient which was vitamin C powder. I was told that you could buy it in any supermarket, but that's not really true, because I couldn't find this in a regular supermarket, so I broke down and I had to go to Whole Foods. Luckily, it wasn't too expensive, so I'm okay with that. But anyway, let me stop talking about all this bullshit and get to the video. So, let's get started. So the first ingredient that you're going to start out with is natural vitamin C powder. The vitamin C powder that is just totally natural, has nothing added into it, which is basically absorbic acid. So yes, it is an acid that we are dealing with, so those of you who have sensitive skin, beware. I should flash like a sign in front of my face. I always give such stupid faces for those little stills. Now vitamin C is in almost every youth serum available, really. It's a strong antioxidant. It helps to brighten your skin. It helps to exfoliate any of the dead skin cells to make your fine lines and wrinkles diminish. It increases blood circulation, it increases collagen production. It just does a lot of amazing things that make you look younger. So what you're going to do is take a fourth teaspoon of vitamin C powder and put it into a little bowl. Now the reason we're using such a little amount is because it is an acid and our skin has to gradually get used to it on our face. So once you start to get used to it, then you can go to a half a teaspoon, but I would not recommend going further than that, okay? I don't want your skin falling off. The next ingredient that you're going to get is aloe, and preferably at least 98, 99% pure aloe vera. Don't get the ones that are in the regular supermarket because guess what, they ain't real aloe. It's like water and glycerin, basically. Now if you watch my channel, you know that I'm a big advocate of aloe vera gel. It's like the miracle of all miracle natural skincare stuff. It moisturizes your skin, it helps to heal your skin, it helps to soothe your skin. It's an anti-inflammatory, and as I mentioned in one of my other videos, it's also a natural skin tightening solution. So you can understand why I love it so much. So what we're going to do is add two tablespoons of our aloe and mix it into our vitamin C powder. Now as you mix it, you might start to see the aloe vera gel start to get a little watery and that's okay. That's just the vitamin C powder dissolving in it and that's just what happens to it. But don't worry, we're going to thicken it up with our next ingredient because we like things thick. Hey, I couldn't help myself. And our next ingredient is glycerin. Now I recommend that you get a more natural vegetable glycerin if you can. Glycerin is an emollient. It's going to help moisturize the skin and it's also going to help preserve our product. Take about a teaspoon of glycerin and add it into our mixture. Then we're going to mix it up and once we have it all mixed up, we're going to start with a nice clean face and we're going to take a little bit of our serum and rub it onto our face and neck in nice circular motion, steering clear of those eyes because we are dealing with acid here and I don't even need to tell you why you don't need to put acid in your eye. Got me? Good. Then all you're going to do is just let it dry and afterwards you're going to notice your skin is so much smoother and softer to the touch. It is super tight. It feels pretty amazing. Then I just add on my normal face cream just to give it a nice seal. I recommend that you guys do this at night because it is an acid that we are working with. It is making your skin a little bit more sensitive so I don't want you going out into like the atmosphere with like sun and wind and just having other irritants. It might bother your skin so I would first start out just trying this as a nighttime routine. That's just my advice to you. Now to store this, you want to place this in a dark colored container because absorbic acid is very sensitive to light and you don't want it to lose its potency. So putting it in a dark container is going to help with that and then you're just going to place it in a cabinet and it should last about a month because you have glycerin in it. So you have it for a pretty good time. Anyway, that's my whole tip and I hope that you liked it. Make sure that you comment down below, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Remember, I make videos every Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like me, just make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you know when my next video comes out. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I have boogers. Oh, sh I didn't check for boogers. No boogers. Vitamin C youth is Because it happens when the vitamin do you want to place it in a? Why can't I say this? And if you watch my, um, 
I like to do this on one tape.